So basically, uh, we're going to see what is a uh, project report. So it is written at the at the end of your research work, but it is not actually started written at the end. Okay, but it is finalized at the end of your research work. Okay. Uh, this is something a form that you uh, a, a form of documentation which carry the knowledge that you're going to deliver or pass down or pass over to other others to continue. Okay, but in this case, this is a requirement for you to uh, basically. Uh, uh, complete as as a part of your fulfillment. If you do not submit your project report, uh, your convocation uh, will be suspended. That is what I uh, understood from previous uh, or last semester before. Okay, so this the, the office will check whether you have submitted your final year project report. So in general, the body of your report should contain okay, okay, these four divisions. Okay, basically. Uh, but in general, it should, it should uh, uh, have all uh, these contents. Okay. Uh, then uh, uh, at least it will have one part of the introduction, second part about the methodology, third part is the presentation analysis of your data, and fourth is the conclusion and uh, further work. Okay, so this is a, a, a basic outline of your project. So the introduction should uh, convey the overall statement of your of your project, where it it, it uh, uh, boldly state state the states the hypothesis hypothesis like the uh, gas this uh, smart gas or scientific gas or engineering uh, gas or uh, of the research questions. So. You, you hypothesis is like uh, you you brought the problem, and then you 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 expect that the problem can be solved by using a tools, or can be okay, or for a problem to be find out or to be identified or to be verified, to uh, uh, verified, okay, using some analysis or tools that you develop, you're going to develop. Then also you're going to explain the limitation uh, outside of the pandemic. Okay, you should uh, explain the limitation. Okay, uh, in the view of engineering. Okay, engineering limitation. For example, you, you your your project have uh, made some simplification or you ignore some factor or variables. Or you will limit that uh, condition to run any uh, uh, experiment, okay? And also the introduction, you you going to focus on the terms, important terms that relate in your area of study. Then methodology is basically the procedure for collection and 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 the analysis of data, okay? The tools. Uh, you have to remember tools. Tools means that the analysis tools. Okay. Tools, uh, you have to differentiate. Okay, a uh, few things. Okay, like uh, MATLAB. MATLAB is not a tools. Mat uh, software, I mean, it's not, it's a met, uh, uh, methodology tools. Okay, what is inside the MATLAB? Okay, okay like for example, Okay, you you using fuzzy logic analysis or controller so those are the the tools the the tools that you should uh, mention in the methodology so you have to differentiate or uh, carefully identify okay the, the important tools 
in 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 your, in, your, in the methodology. Okay, and also design. Okay, design when you design. Okay, you can. I think you have done the conceive uh, capstone project. So those are basically the design process. Okay, which you can uh, apply in your project. Okay, where you start from conceiving the idea, do some interviews. Okay, find uh, find subjects. Okay, find the companies or find the entities that are related to your study. Maybe you are doing clinical study. Okay, or maybe maybe we are doing production. Okay, you find the people who are working in the area where you want to contribute. Okay, and then data with uh, analysis. There are many uh, many uh, method or tools that you can use. Okay, like uh, 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 you, you you can find the the. Uh, uh, pattern recognition or, or data segregation, data classification, okay, and analysis of data. You how how you can group the data into set sets of uh, uh, clusters, uh, and then you find out the correlation or relationship in your data and then make some meaningful uh, observation, okay. And then the conclusion basically will uh, conclude. So how do you conclude? You look back to your objective. Okay. So the objective, you check your objective whether it is achieved. Okay. So that's how conclusion. One of the way how you can write your conclusion or or summary. You look at the objective. So you reflect, did you achieve your objective? Okay. So this is very important in any project. Okay. Usually, okay, to measure any project that is successful, okay, it must uh, declare that the objective has been achieved. Okay. The proof will come in the analysis. Okay, the proof will become the analysis. Okay, all the analysis must okay uh, do the objective. Even though if it is not uh, successfully achieved, uh, okay, there must be variables or, or conditions. So it must be explained in the summary. Okay, and then uh, later you okay when when you done your work. You, it's like seeking more in in research when you seek more questions along the way. Uh, when you find the answer, you will have more questions. Okay, so those questions you 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 put inside the recommendation. Okay, maybe for your own consideration, you want to continue your work into your postgraduate studies. Or oh, will be very helpful for other people, okay? Or uh, people who are going to look at, okay, it's a value that people can uh, appreciate, where they can use or read your report as a uh, guidance. Okay, so so that is basically in the conclusion. Okay, so the the format must follow the UTM thesis manual, two thousand eighteen. Uh, you have to read between the lines. Okay, you have to uh, check carefully. So now is the time. If there anything that you don't understand, uh, how to write or how to how use the thesis manual, okay, you can uh, ask your supervisor or you can ask the uh, coordinators. Okay, we will assist you. Okay, and then I think Dr. Yana had conducted. A, a program before how to use the template so template was provided by the committee long time ago and, and then basically uh, we last time we hope that the, the the template we designed the template to be intuitive means that it should be 
uh, 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 anyone who, who access it can be can can modify it uh, seamlessly. But of course, uh, we understand that not everyone okay have the same uh, mean. Okay, okay, not everyone can immediately understand how to use it. But that's that's okay. That's why we have the committee. We we assist. But that, but we hope that you explore. Oh, I know I hope I know that you have done your FIP one using the template. But there are many things that you can now you can you can improve. Okay. So the uh, the manual can okay, give you some of the organization of the standard standard organization of the thesis. Okay, the preliminary pages. Okay, some of the pages shouldn't be there. Okay, like the declaration of from the postgraduate school uh, office. Okay, so we purposely put there because that is the template given by the university. Uh, uh, the, uh, but but actually that one we have removed. But maybe some of you got it from somewhere else. Okay, so so you have to you have to check properly. You, and uh, if you're not sure, you have to ask. Okay, and then the TC show you this is the pro proper size and format. Okay, reference reference style. Okay, how what reference size should you be used? Okay, and how you prepare for the final uh, electronic and or digital thesis preparation. Okay, this is the general list. Okay, again, I think is is uh, uh, repeating the same thing. Okay, just uh, if you have done this, it's good. If you haven't done this, you can you can uh, you can uh, uh, improve your FIP one report. So this is the, the general list in your report. Okay, starting from the abstract until your appendix. Okay, uh, I think the limit limit page is somewhere. Uh, for undergraduate, shouldn't more, should I think shouldn't be more than one hundred, okay, including the appendixes. If I'm not mistaken, okay. Uh, but some say one hundred, not including the appendix. Uh, but if your appendix is too much, I think better just uh, put the link, okay, link somewhere uh, in in your report. Uh, where you share a, a permanent Google link or website or anything where you people can download, okay? And uh, the there is one requirement, okay? If uh, basically when you write, okay, another thing you have to think or you have to consider is the uh, assessment, okay? Assessment of the report. So check uh, FYP okay, form, assessment form, I think uh, 26A slash B, FYP form, okay? Check the element because the assessment your supervisor or your second reader will give you marks based on the content of your report. Okay, so they, I'm guiding you not only how to run but how to let like, Excel in, the, in your FYP too. So don't let at the end of the day, okay, uh, supervisor or your 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 second reader uh, found it difficult to put the mark based on the arrangement of your report. So. And then another important element is project management costing. Okay, you could put it under subsection under chapter three, under the proposed methodology, or you created a, a separate chapter for uh, for the project management and costing. Okay. Now this is very important. Okay, to avoid plagiarism. Uh, I know that. Some of the supervisor let you decide to or run your turn it in, turn it yourself, okay. But the committee will have the uh, right, or we will we usually conduct reassessment, especially for students who got high marks. So 
A plus. We want, we don't want this plagiarism to happen. This is, is um, it is a, a matter of our pride and image. Okay. So basically, by definition, is something that uh, wrongfully appropriation or planning and publication as one own or of idea or the express of the idea of an of or of another. So it can be uh, someone it uh, translate a, a work from different language into uh, his own native language. Okay. So that is also by definition a form of plagiarism. So means that you use other people's work and claim it as your own. Okay. Um, I think I think this is should be embedded in you. Not uh, thing is not not now. But it should have been there since uh, the, the the day one you enter or enroll as a uh, undergraduate. Okay. So it's it's. It, it must be avoided, okay? So if you find something or anything, a resource, okay, if, if, the, if, the, if the work is, okay, you, you, it's okay if you use the work, but most importantly is how you express, express or write it down, okay? So no, don't, uh, copy word by word, point by point. So you have to express other people's work. Even if you express your own work, which you have published, there's something that you have published, okay, and then you want to write it down into a report, then it should be written in a different form or different uh, style, okay? Cannot be same uh image or arrangement okay so people uh, anything that you have refer must be given credit you have to refer or use a reference properly they cite the work so that there are proper way to cite citation if you you we use citation word by word. You have to put the open and close break uh, apostrophe. Okay. Uh, so remember all that you have to give credit. Uh, but avoid sources that have no proper uh, details like the authors, the publish date, okay? You could always, if you find something useful like a website, okay, it is always useful to trace down other sources that explain the same information in, in the form of much proper uh, format, like in a book or journal or conference. So don't 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 use website as a primary source. Okay, it can be a source of reference, but to make your report pretty and uh, organized, find sources uh, that have a proper details or complete details. Okay, so people will look at your report. Okay. Okay, we put we put put a uh, look at your report, and go, they're going to like, okay, assess you, okay, from from your final your project report, okay. So these are the points. Okay, you must be very careful. Like for example, if you take a picture from 
someone or from some from uh, journal okay in your report you must put the reference in the figure caption okay so you have your figure okay underneath there's a caption figure one for example and then, then there is the text you have to put the reference where do you okay according to the arrangement lah, style you have to properly put that okay but because in like say you want to publish in journal some journal require you to ask permission from the original authors even though it's almost impossible to get a reply but some journal keen for you to apply at least you have applied and then you have acknowledged okay so you have to properly do this okay not only as a form of your professionalism of course okay you want to avoid any legal action okay that's the the worst case scenario lah legal action against your uh, against what you have done but but haven't haven't seen that happen okay uh, at the level of undergraduate but maybe when you work you will see or you may encounter such situation so just this is just a advice how to avoid that kind of uh, uh, trouble okay uh, this i think and the so what is not plagiarism so you can use uh, other people as as long as that you declare in your report you do not create that one okay but you use it to help or to complete your work that is fine okay you want this i think i think you can uh, go through yourself okay, why plagiarism is wrong so at least you and it means that you put a burden uh, actually you put a burden to yourself if you do plagiarism it will haunt you in some day okay it will incur a debt to the truth okay so as usual what uh, basically utm policy on plagiarism they ask you to use the paternity report to find the similarity okay i understand that the similarity uh, you supposed to uh, communicate with your supervisor supervisor should supposed to do it for you uh, but okay they just um, make sure that your supervisor okay or uh, i mean properly check okay so the tips on how to uh, avoid okay when you write if you write something you take something bold or the, everything word about from some uh, someone else you highlight okay you use different color on your report so it's like um, uh, a reminder to yourself this is from someone else okay at the end of the report you should rewrite it and then you should change the the wording or rephrase until it doesn't sounds i mean uh, the word that doesn't spell out the same but it may be meaning the same this is fine okay and then uh, manage your time uh, writing is a process is something that needs um, uh, if, if you give your time from now it will polish your report at the and then it will be beautiful at the end of the uh, course okay and then also referencing very important okay reference method uh, so it, it must be properly done okay then i think there's uh, automatic tools like EndNotes, Mendeley, okay. Mendeley, 
uh, end nodes so even i using end nodes uh, since the beginning of my writing career as a researcher so i i, I use end node to to organize my referencing okay so this example okay where using the numeric format based on the utm thesis okay, utm thesis uh, for a uh, guideline how to write uh, the thesis uh, edition 2018 okay make sure that you use the current uh, guideline from UTM, they could uh, revise. If there any revision, we will let you know. Okay, this is an example using the numeric format. Okay, the reference it will be will come at the end. Okay, but any automatic or any uh, tools like Mendeley and no, the automatic tools where it help you helps you to organize when you make some changing that it will automatically renumber everything but the list also will be will come at the end of the report automatically it is your responsible to check okay the, the format okay so you have to check the details of the reference okay Th there could be some uh weird uh symbols coming into the list of the reference okay that is your responsibility to check and responsibility to edit okay you have to edit this the the source file in your in in, in your endnotes or in your mendeley so that is your responsible okay like for example if you're numbering utm okay you should write uh, according to name uh, surname first come with the initial so on so on uh, and uh, so you have to check it is your your responsibility to verify okay this one uh, okay quotation is something that when when you use the exact word okay like people work okay you 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 put the quotation open and close okay uh, paraphrasing is a is a is a uh, skill where you can use okay it is uh, it, it is is it, it, it is uh, allowable or permitted or permitted in, uh, in 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 writing your your project okay but you you when you prefer a price you still have to cite the the, the source okay turning in uh, basically you know turning in uh, the the level the original report for undergraduate must be not more than 40 percent so even you if you reach 40 percent that is something that you have to revise you have to revise your report until you get low so if the matching is too high like in this example 64 percent is something that you have to avoid okay so you have we we in uh, fyp committee we will try to deliver some uh, point or help in writing but we in general cannot uh, attend or, or i mean uh, we we cannot uh, provide the uh, courses uh, or many because it is something that you have to pick up okay in even in the early days or years of your uh, academic uh, journey so anyway in utm they have like uh, language okay language center english language center where they have people that can help you to polish your writing okay uh, even your colleague or, co or your supervisor if your supervisor uh, willing enough to assist but uh, it is something that you have to uh, 
go through personally okay. so manage your time very careful uh, so just think of like you have to write as if that you have to submit tomorrow okay you have that you must have that rush in yourself okay and uh, especially we are, uh, we or most of us are not native speaker english native speaker okay uh, if you can control even if you control the language uh, there's no uh, guarantee you can control the technology or the knowledge okay that's why okay some of you are very good in writing but have the struggle to to, to complete the project uh, so but if you can do both okay that's good okay because you can do your time for something else okay so seek uh, assistance so UTM have provided the platform, have provided the the center English language center to assist students. Okay, uh, uh, try to okay find people who can help you in uh, completing the report, uh, even beginning uh, uh, now. Okay, now I just want to like go through one aspect of your report, especially what is called as the abstract. Okay. So the abstract is something that people will going to read. Okay, if this is properly written, okay, and uh, people will find the rest of the knowledge. Okay, if your abstract does not uh, explain the whole work properly. So people will uh, will skip your work and then we'll find more, uh, other other uh, other sources or other uh, work, other people's work related uh, similar work. Okay, so it must capture the attention of the people who uh, uh, try to find uh, the keywords. Okay, so the abstract is basically a single paragraph, but according uh, normally in between 150 to 150 uh, but you know and i'm mistaken from the form from the guideline uh doesn't matter the the number of uh, word but it's only one page and one paragraph okay so it must reflect the work okay uh, and then it must include Okay, the keywords okay the keyword the important keywords in that 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 related to your work okay find find the keywords in your work okay the keyword you uh, when you find any journal that you related to your work there there are keywords use that keywords okay use that uh, keywords and synonyms of the keywords so you will uh, increase okay the uh, visibility of your work okay uh, just to uh, avoid okay, you use the proper uh, tense in your work okay, when you, you use in the abstract you use present tense to highlight the important findings something that is relevant okay, going to you 100% sure that it's relevant like the sun okay, is bright because on the sun is hot Okay, that is present tense. Okay, when passing to highlight the important methodology, your work. Okay, your, your, the, 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 the work that you have been done or the analysis that you have been done or the, the system that you have been done. So, so use the, the good grammar, grammar in your, in your in, not only in your abstract, even in your, the whole work, okay, the whole uh, report. So in the structure of the abstract, basically uh, the first sentence should is the come the opening, okay, and then the second part should highlight the method. The third part usually should focus on or highlight on the result, okay. 
So the first sentence of the abstract should clearly state what you did and how you did it. Okay. Focus on the aim, context and rational of the study so that the reader can relate it to the other work they are familiar with. So that's, that's the opening part. Okay. And the second part is focus on the material experiment. They hi highlight how the data was measured or compiled and what, what is the statistical uh, uh, significance. Okay, in the second part, okay, the highlight the, any new tools or self-development method as well. Okay, tools that you use in your level, okay, you use it for a phenomenon that haven't been explored by other people. You have to mention. Or in the method you say you develop or you can claim that you develop or you, through modification of the method so it become a new method that can people use to uh, help okay help them in the, in the future work okay avoid using reference suppose there is no referencing like in, in in your abstract so the, the abstract that doesn't require any referencing okay Unless they are very essential, I try to avoid. And the third part is just imp as important as the beginning. Okay, this part where you want to uh, catch the attention of the reader into further reading your report or your work. Okay, you highlight the result, especially in the form of qualitative and quantitative. Okay, you, you give the number. Okay, your work have Okay, okay. Uh, your work have improved or your work have uh, outlined the error as very low as 0.001%, for example, plus minus. So, so that's how you highlight the result in, in, in your abstract. Okay. Okay, I'll give you uh, this for example. Okay. Uh, uh, example of abstract this study look into okay so we see the how the study use uh, a sensor to okay which been modified with the membrane okay and then uh, part two is the method okay evaluate minimum difference okay how using the tools or the equipment Okay, what are the samples how it was prepared and then how what is in general what's the theory the theory if the theory will require some uh, declaration or you have to highlight or you have to mention you have mentioned and the part three is where you highlight the ex the result okay the result so you see you you highlight the numeric numbers numerical values of the, the, the percentage. All right? Right? And then lastly, you should you conclude yeah, in the, the abstract. Okay, I, so I cannot cover everything, but there's a, this one, uh, there's a, I'm not promoting this, I'm not uh, getting anything from this. So I found that there's some, some guy or well, some researcher have provide uh, a, a, a book that okay, especially help us people who are not a native uh, English speaker to write sentences, okay, result, okay, or how to write your or to explain okay, your result. I, I can suggest, for example, this guy, okay. Uh, this his book. I think they put a link later. I will share you the the uh, research methodology slide. Okay, I found it difficult, but you have to be careful. So this may be uh, disturb the your English skill, where the it will disable 
slightly disable your ability to find or to, to understand the mechanism of English language. So just to, to be very, very careful lah. Okay. But if you want to like, again, for example, you see at the bottom, you know, number uh, two samples. Okay. Where you just change the specific material or things or purpose of your study. Okay. You can use the sentence. Okay, you can just modify, they give you some sentence, you just modify the content. Okay, this is not uh, plagiarism where you mention your work. Okay, okay. This is where, where you can uh, uh, use as your guide. So, uh, again, I declare, I want to declare, I, I, I'm not, okay, there, there, there could be other, other reference that might, might be helpful, Okay, but I found it that others like uh, focus on the, okay, explain on writing based on the fundamental me English mechanism. So, you will like, uh, you have to properly catch the idea or to understand uh, English language. But this one, not, uh, but you have to use it with caution lah. Okay, not, not to uh, mean uh, defeat your in or reduce the your english ability okay so i think that's all what i want to share for resource methodology uh, maybe i will like welcome for any comments or question or reflection from our audience before i conclude our session Okay, I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll give you all the, uh, some of the acknowledgement. Okay, okay, go. So I will, this is not 2015. Uh, it's supposed to be 2018. Okay. So, I wish uh, you all the best. Uh, if you have any problem, you just let us, uh, the coordinator and uh, the uh, chair of the FIP, okay? If you have anything, you just ask, okay, regarding your FIP, uh, especially on how, uh, the, how to conduct or any, any, any admin, admin issues, okay? Okay. Uh, okay. I have a question. Uh, yes. uh, if I have some uh, material or information that I got from uh, interviewing uh, some expert or specialist from uh, specialist in a certain work, so I, I interview them and I I write the information I got from them to my. Sorry. Uh, you are breaking. Uh, maybe, maybe you can give the question. Your voice is breaking. Can can you can you give it a maybe you write it down in the in the chat. I can I can. Hmm. Yeah. It's okay. Uh, I appreciate the question. Yes. Maybe the okay. So uh, there's uh, some question there. For the project management and costing, is it compulsory to have it in our FYP report? Unfortunately, yes. Especially, it is considered in your assessment. You check the FYP report form, FYP 26. It's supposed to be on the website. Okay, if not on the website, I can, I can share it later. The, you could, uh, you know, if you don't put the project management and uh, costing, you could lose mark. Because later, you, yeah, report content from every can be used. Of course, you can use. Yeah, yeah. It's just I know understand when when uh, in FIP two, it's a, it's a final report. When you do, do the Tornado report. Okay, it will detect your FIP one in internet. You will detect. You, you have to ignore or you have to uh, exclude. Okay, uh, FIP one report is not 
officially publish. Okay, it's a report where you submit to ask for assessment. It's not the form of that will be considered as final or published is your FYP to report. Is is going to be to be to be uh, uh, submitted, right? Yeah. So FYP one is okay unless you use your FYP report to submit to conference, other conference. You have to be careful, lah. So that is an official publication, okay? Ah, uh, turning in will will detect. Turning in will detect that. But as I said, you have to exclude. Okay, if you detect, okay, you, okay, send to your supervisor, that is from my FRP1. So, that's okay. So, don't, uh, don't panic. If, if you run the turn it in for your FRP2 report, then it check or it, it detect from your FRP1 report, that, uh, don't, don't worry. It's okay. So, in this case, it is acceptable. It means that there is not plagiarism, lah, because that is one that have you done. Okay, actually going to be uh, your final outcome of or, or uh, product for for your for your thesis, for your undergraduate or for your bachelor of degree. Okay, right. The material of cost for FIT can be sponsored by a supervisor. Uh, sponsored at okay. The, 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 uh, don't, the, I think the, the, no need to mention lah, uh, your supervisor, uh, you, you appreciate your supervisor kan, but don't in the material cost, you just put the cost. Like for example, even maybe you are wondering, you, you are using the, you are using the simulation tools provided by the university, for example, eh, but you have, you, you can check the actual cost of the software. You put it there, okay. So and then you put another remark on the left, okay. It's, uh, provided by the university, but the, you put the actual cost of the software, and you find what is the actual cost. For example, okay, MATLAB, MATLAB, you, you and UTM provide the license, but you check if you if you have to like acquire the MATLAB for your company, how much it will cost. You put that cost. Yeah, that's how, how, yeah, maybe some of you are like worried how, how, how much, how number or value I should I put? You know, your simulation tool is actually the, the cost. Okay, you have to put that. Okay. Okay, as a cost. Okay. Right. Uh, and it says question, okay, I go up here. If I got some info or uh, detail info from interview with the professional in that special, how do I cite in the info from the specials? Okay. That interview interview form or interview data, you can put it in the appendix. Can you put it in the appendix? Your appendix. Okay. So you mentioned uh, the raw data of the interview can be available in the appendix. Okay. So, uh, the, no need to like uh, put the citation lah. You mentioned, but if anyone want uh, to check the raw data of the interview, okay, it is available in your appendix. Okay. Yeah, so, that's how you include in your report. Okay. If I got some info for an interview, I like the same. Same, same, same thing like, uh, like I said. Okay, put the interview script in in the appendix. So that's why it's called appendix. Appendix it can be raw data. Okay, raw data that we you got okay from your result. Okay, the appendix which you you cannot put in your main content. You put everything is going to be lengthy. Okay, so so you put in the appendix. So in your in the main paragraph of your report, you said okay. For further details of the raw data or interview script, in your case, uh, it is available in the appendix. But be careful, lah. Don't, 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 don't make your 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 report too lengthy. Maybe if you have many feedbacks, okay, choose the most appropriate or most relevant. Put it in that appendix. Okay, if anyone in the world find it 
they they compel them to find the more data okay they will contact you and then it's up to you lah up to you up to your supervisor whether you want to reveal or there is any 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 this uh, i mean uh, any anything that cannot be revealed so that is up to you i i'm I, i'm not uh, uh i mean uh, i'm not going to state or going <laughs> to dictate anything now uh, but yeah, uh, for information and uh, revelation or uh, a confidential and discuss with your supervisor or your or, or your collaborator okay always check with your collaborator lah what are the arrangement okay uh, i'm not going to dictate you have to share everything okay then later i will get into trouble lah i can ask you to share every information to everyone so that's how you you like uh, control the information okay oh it's it's more like a video interview like i said in the appendix maybe you can put the link to uh, link 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 uh, google drive link for example or youtube link youtube link is much more manageable okay okay if i did the hands on okay like an experiment outside a uh, site such as taking soil activity certain places can i put picture of me taking the measurement no problem okay no problem that's 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 uh consent lah uh but for the facility for the company okay to be careful uh, you ask them is there any consent some some company big company if you even want to take picture okay they will revise the picture and even if you want to put somewhere they will ask where you want to put it and then you have to fill the consent or release form so uh, check lah but if you want to put yourself lah but uh, don't put a tiktok video whatever lah okay uh, I mean the cost of our insert I will use some transaction so I have to buy it uh, okay this is some limitation lah okay supervisor uh, actually uh we utm have provide budget but i think it's not much okay but yeah some lecturer or some of you are like lucky because your lecturer uh if you want to check the budget you confirm the budget or you actually you can complain through your supervisor i think it's not more than 50 ringgit lah, i think over 100 ringgit sorry because this always keep on changing the budget by the budget range uh, so unfortunately if you want to okay the, you want to use something that you uh, some uh, you want to buy your hardware some lecturers okay they have a grant okay they, they can support okay uh, your project from their grant but not all of your supervisor have that grant okay that's why we have to do some uh, fix 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 everything to our needs and uh, uh, budget so unfortunately try try to adjust okay uh, your requirement of your system or your, your your project with the budget that you you can afford okay so if your supervisor have project and that they, they can provide or claim uh, like for example okay what do you want to use and then they can buy a uh, letter they can claim and then then then, then supply or uh, uh, hand over the, uh, the hardware to you that is uh, you are lucky lah. but the, in our arrangement it is not the supervisor responsibility 100 percent okay the responsibility is to facilitate means they buy yeah capability and you know capability and yeah the uh uh afford what what they can afford okay uh so i'm going to buy it from okay so i want to separate the project manager to where should we put a separate chapter chapter four or somewhere like a like a like i explain in the uh, where is it yeah like this one okay like what you see in the slide okay the slide 
Okay, uh, this one where you embedded your project management costing under under the proposed methodology, uh, but okay, this one okay and after the proposed methodology, you can put the project management costing. Okay. Uh, like I said, you can claim hardware cost but not much. You can confirm from the office. It's not much. If your total claim uh, for your cost like 300 ringgit, you can only get uh, part of the cost. Uh, but I have to, you, you have to, we have to uh, confirm with the office. Okay, whether they provide the same uh, value of cost. But the claim, claim must go through your supervisor. Supervisor must, uh, if you want to claim the amount of money that, that they can provide, supervisor must do it for you. Okay, your supervisor should know how to do it. And then actually we put in the website how your supervisor can claim the, the, the part of the cost. Okay. Wow, okay. I'm concerned about the plagiarism and the appendix. The coding process will paste. When you do uh, plagiarism, when you do the plagiarism, you do, don't have to put the appendix. When you do the turn it in, appendix don't have to put. Nanti kan, they detect everything from GitHub, whatever, don't. Okay. If we don't have access to R3P paper, is there any way that UTM can provide some access? Uh, I think at UTM, UTM, you, you, you can use the VPN. But there is one of the record, there is one UTM Sci-Hub. Eh, not UTM sci but Sci-Hub, S-C-I-S-U-B. And there's a third party people who basically some, somehow they, they manage to compile uh, all the scientific papers where you can subscribe freely. Okay. Uh, I'm going to get in trouble if I'm telling you, but off the record. Uh, okay. Uh, Sci-Hub. S-C-I-S-H-U-B. You can use that. Okay. Uh, but, but is it illegal to use in our paper? Illegal to use your own paper? Legal, if you want to talk legal or legality, basically knowledge, knowledge, uh, knowledge, knowledge, it should be used for mankind, okay, but there are issues like, uh, uh, the, the other issues like, like what, what, uh, more issue like, for example, if you have a book, you, a book okay, can you photocopy or not the book, uh, what if you photocopy but, but you use it for yourself, is it? But if you have any knowledge, okay, you see the knowledge from some somewhere else, okay. But that is the, uh, the, someone provide them from the website, but you use it for the knowledge, okay. Okay, but try to 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 uh, to get the paper from. But there are many many paper like for example lah. Uh, this this is this is one one way lah. Okay, if you can access the paper, you can request personally from the author. The kata, the, you, you contact the author. Kata, can you kindly share your email? You kindly share the paper, your paper with us. So, this is between uh, uh, for, uh, mean knowledge to knowledge transfer. Lah. But yeah, on above that, they, they are much like uh, issue that like apa? Uh, uh, I mean the uh, property issue of knowledge, but if you ask me, you don't, you, you cannot put a price or, or, or knowledge, uh, but uh, it's up to you lah, okay. So what, it's not illegal lah, illegal unless, unless, unless you make profit, okay, you make profit, somehow you could make profit, but I don't see how you can make, make profit from uh, I don't see and I, 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 I okay 
Okay, uh, so so thank you very much for your uh, participation. Even for far, okay, I missed all that the physical activity uh, uh, for FYP. But anyway, I hope that okay, uh, there is a bless uh, uh, blessing in this guys, this guys of all the hardship that we are enduring right now. Okay, I I, I wish all the best. I okay, wish that you uh, uh, can we can go through this uh, together until uh, the end. Okay, so. Uh, Thank you very much for your participation. Okay. Um, so anyway, I, I, I will conclude this uh, session. And if you have anything else to ask, you can uh, the email okay, contact us. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. 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 Thank you, sir.